Hello everyone, welcome to this video. If you're preparing for the Microsoft Azure Fundamentals, uh, welcome. Uh, this is the AZ900 uh, video lab uh, where we're going to deploy Azure Container Instances. This lab should be pretty straightforward to do and uh, in this series of videos we are following uh, all the labs that uh, Microsoft Learning suggested and developed uh, and are available on GitHub. Uh, I will provide you the link to these labs in my video. You can watch me do it and I would highly recommend that you do it yourself uh, just to get familiar with, uh, with the lab and the particular service. Now this lab should be very small and shouldn't take too long. Uh, just note that there are multiple ways to deploy containers within Azure. Uh, you can deploy the container uh, within uh, a web app. You can use the ACI, the Azure Container Services that we're going to use in this particular lab. You have the Azure Kubernetes and uh, there are other features also available like Fabric where you can uh, deploy the containers. Now for this particular lab, uh, we will go to the Azure portal and it's going to be very easy. We'll open up the container services. We'll search for this one, create an instance of the container service and we will configure it the way they're asking us to configure in the lab. We'll choose a subscription. We'll create a new resource group. We'll name our container. We're going to deploy the container in the East US. There are multiple regions available. Uh, we're going to get one image from the Docker Hub. If you want, you can use other registry as well. We're going to use a public image. And for this particular lab, we're going to use the Microsoft ACI Hello World, a very simple and small image. We are going to use the Linux hosting operating system to host our Docker image. And uh, for size, we don't have to worry about it. And we're going to use a unique domain name. And that's pretty much all that we needed to do. Okay. And uh, once we create, we will verify our deployment going to the fully qualified domain name that uh, Azure is going to give us. Okay. So for the exam, just understand what the container is and what is the difference between a container and a virtual machine. Uh, so a virtual machine you are creating inside your your uh, your host, your hypervisor. And where you are creating your hardware, your memory, uh, and everything else. So on the top of your uh, operating system, uh, your hypervisor, you have a full operating system where you are running all the applications. Uh, with a container, it's scalable, it's lightweight, it's easy to deploy, and it's a con it's a secure and it from a kernel standpoint, it shares the host machine kernel. So it's rapidly you can uh, deploy and build your containers. It's lightweight and in one machine you can have so many containers, more, definitely more than the number of virtual machine one hypervisor can support. So just understand uh, what they are, spend some time with Docker. I'm actually creating a, 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 a video to introduce Docker and Docker, common Docker commands if you're interested, come back in a few days. It should be available in this uh, channel. Uh, so let's just get started with this lab. For this lab, you need an Azure subscription. If you do not have one, just go ahead and get one, get a free subscription, and uh, let's get started with the lab. So I'm just going to search for this container instances uh, service within my Azure. So he, I'm already logged into the Azure. I use the search bar a lot, so I'm just going to paste the container instances, get the container instances in here, and this is very familiar view for any services. We're going to click on the add button right here, and it should give me a window, and like any other resources, you need to have a resource group where, where you will deploy your um, instance of a particular service. So let's get the name. Uh, is the my RG container uh, since I have only one subscription my subscription is automatically selected as you see if you drop down there's only one available you may have more so uh, for the resource group I'm going to use the name that is suggested make sure that you do not have any space uh, 
for the container name it's a simple my container copy and over here paste we are and this name is available uh, region is the east us and uh, you can use the quick start images as your container registry or the docker hub and this time we're using the docker hub uh, or the other registry for uh, deployment it's a public type image and you need the name of the image okay so and here you need to copy this name exactly as it is because that's how it's uh, it's gonna find the image from the docker hub so over here put the image name and uh, once you have that operating system we want it Linux which is good here this is the size don't worry about it so if you click on it okay so here you have option you can configure your your container a number of CPUs how much memory you want to give it to the computer container and the GPU tab if you need any so by default I have one CPU 1.5 gigs of memory and I don't need any GPU at the moment so I'm just gonna uh, close this one and go to networking and see if they needed any networking I really don't need to worry about it it will just uh, uh, create all the networking over here actually they have a uh, uh, include public IP address yes and the port looks like port 80 we need because it's a web application so let's come back over here public okay DNS name level label uh, here we need something unique let's just copy that one go back over here paste it over there and then let's just try 8080 and that uh, DNS label is available to me and it says port 80 is already open so I'm, I'm good with that uh, and here just learn public will create a public IP address for your container instance private if you if you choose private then it will allow you to choose a new or existing virtual network for your container this is not yet available for a Windows container so if you want to use a private um, a networking type then you will only be able to use the Linux container so that's a difference so I would pay some attention because for the exam it, it's a testable question and none will not create any IP address at all or the virtual network you will still be able to access your container logs using the command line so for, for now for the lab <coughs> public is all good because we're just trying to deploy this container within the ACI and that's uh, that's enough uh, here is a restart policy if for any reason if you if you if your container fails there is some problem it will automatically restart right so on failure uh, let's see variable if you want you can uh, configure uh, other things over here let's go back over here uh, let's see um, it's uh, for the lab does not require you to configure anything else so let's go back over here we are not we don't need to change anything in this one uh, let's go to tags tags again tags is not required but I usually put some tags so it's say for example I can call this AZ 900 and this is the lab 3 lab 3 uh, again you can have uh, AZ 900 and look at that name tag name you cannot have the same name twice okay so maybe this time call it docker and here put lab 3 again and look at that so the value could be the same but name could not be uh, could not be the same so this name this tag I have already used so even I cannot use it over here so let's just try az900 okay so in this one I'm going to try to create two uh, 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 tags in here one would be az900 this is my value another docker and this is a value and then just let's click on the uh, review and create to check for the validation and again this is going this is giving us some information about how we configured uh, the deployment of the docker image uh, as you pass sponsorship uh, resource group 
is my RG container region is in the East US that's the name of my container that we are running it's public Ishi hello world is the image that we are uh, going to be running uh, memory number of CPU cores GPU type and GPU count all right then just hit on create and it should create uh, the image uh, of the container for you and deploy the container once it's running uh, what we will be do we'll be able to go to the uh, our DNS namespace and we should be uh, able to uh, access the container uh, from our fully qualified domain name so the deployment is similar to everything else the deployment is in progress in here you can go to the notification bar again and see what is going on the deployment is progress it also shows the other things that we have been doing in this particular subscription uh, previously again so from here you can close that one anytime uh, from here you can always go to the resource group and I always mention in all my videos that this deployment uh, feature is always there within your resource group you can always click on that one to go uh, to the deployment this you can uh, click on it you can it's gonna take you to this uh, page again and it says the deployment is now done so you can click on the go to resource button right over here you can also click on the notification or click on that go to resource button right here as well both will take you to your resource that you have just deployed which is a container how do you know this icon is unique for all containers and uh, this is a container instance okay again containers since uh, it's running it's kind of way bad okay so you have uh, CPU usage some of the graphs that are automatically available to you so you can monitor the CPU usage uh, the memory usage, network byte received, network byte transmitted, and things like that. Uh, there are a whole bunch of other things that are in here that we will investigate later. But for this lab, just learn that there are a few things that you want to know. Is IP address, there's the fully qualified domain name. So if I copy this one and uh, go to a new tab and I paste that fully qualified domain name, I should be able to access that application if you see this application is now available okay so come back over here and let's see if there's anything else that is uh, interesting so if you want you can stop the comp container over here you can restart the container even delete the container if you like okay uh, so that's about it so let me go back uh, to lab over here one last time so verify the deployments we had completed uh, the container instance and uh, uh, verify deployment of the container instances we have just done that so if you need to test with other containers I would highly recommend that you go to the docker hub docker hub and in the docker hub you will find hundreds of other containers that you can use and deploy uh, if you if you want you can just uh, sign in uh, I would recommend that you, you get a sign in ID so say um, I want to deploy a Kali rolling Linux machine so I, I can get to that one I can search for that one so this is the name that I have okay so I'll copy that one and in our deployment uh, where we have provided the image name instead of Microsoft ACI hello world I would provide this particular name okay and then we'll start the deployment so I'll highly recommend test out with some other docker images uh, just play with it and make sure that you're comfortable deploying uh, docker images as containers using azure container instances okay if you're starting for the exam uh, again good luck if you like the video please give me a thumbs up subscribe for more uh, videos like that if you have any questions please leave a comment and again, if you're studying for the exam, good luck. It's an entry-level exam, and I'm sure you will do excellent. Thank you. Have a good day.